Hi guys, um, this is my everyday makeup routine. And um, I just basically put on what I normally do if I do my makeup during the week. And this is how I look. So if you like it, please subscribe. I would appreciate it and follow me for more videos. Thanks. Hey guys, um, so today I'm in my bathroom and basically I'm just gonna do my everyday makeup. As you can tell, I'm wearing a sweatshirt. Literally, this is what I've been wearing like every day. Um, you know, basically I, this is my first, Time. It's not my first time. I actually have attempted making a YouTube channel, but long story short, this is my attempt at a new channel. Basically, I am fresh, amateur, literally ready to make a YouTube channel because I absolutely love makeup. I love lifestyle stuff. I love beauty, jewelry, you know, you name it. I'm like the ultimate girly girl, like, you know, just who I have been. So basically today we're going to be doing... Um, Sorry, my eyes like irritating me because I put contacts in and then I still had makeup on my eyes from the other night. So long story short, we are here. We're gonna do my everyday makeup routine, what I like to use, you know, this is how I do it. So actually you don't know because I'm just starting. <laughs> Anyways, so I normally like to put my hair up, but right now I'm not really feeling it. So basically, what I start off with almost every single day of my life, this is like my, has been my favorite for a while. So it's it's even rubbing off, that's how much I use. <laughs> so basically I'm using the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. You can't even make out what it says anymore, but it's okay. I have this freaking zit on my face somehow. So I just apply it like this, by the way. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm very basic with my makeup on my everyday look. Like, I'm not one of those girls that fucking pop on a lot of makeup, which I might, you might think I do, but I just don't think I do. So, I will be telling you, lately, I've been really obsessed with this. It's the Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation with the sunscreen of SPF 50. And I've been using it in Sand 70, which is basically my color, but I have noticed that I'm a little dark because I just got back from vacation. You can't really tell. I, I look paler and, you know, whatever. So, what I've been using for the past couple days is the um, Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. And I've been using the Warm Beige, which is always a little darker for me. But actually, it's been working fine. And yeah, I'm lazy and I plop it right over my Flawless Primer. The thing with this is you don't want to apply too much, which I feel like I already am. I'm already going heavy handed. Because this is, this goes a very long way. Okay? Trust me. So, uh, unlike other people, my makeup's right underneath my vanity. Like, all of it is under there. So, I'm using my Morphe foundation brush. And I just rub it in. Not carefully. Honestly, I, what's a beauty blender? <laughs> like, I don't even use my beauty blenders anymore. Like, I'm not even joking. After purchasing, like, three foundation brushes, I just rotate them. And, uh, that's it. That's all I do. Takes two seconds. Beauty blender, you gotta go like this, nonstop. I'm just not down for that. It's just not my thing. It's not who I am. And that's that. And I just make sure I get in all the crevices. And I always bring it down my neck. And that's it. So then, then, I do two things. I have like a jar full of concealers. Because I honestly am so or indecisive about my concealers. So I've been using this out of nowhere. I don't know why I started using this again. It's the Becca um, Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I don't know, it's not that great, but I just need it, especially lately, because I'm just like so, I have the worst dark circles. Someone even said to me when I was out of town, ma'am, I have something for your under eyes. What the fuck are you trying to say? Oh, sorry, I just have to say that. Anyways. Anyways. I just apply it like this. 
and then up there, especially because I have a blemish. That's that. And then usually, I always switch out what I use. But today, I'm using, I don't even know where it is. Nope, I don't even know. So I use my foundation brush when I want it to be easy, peasy, lemon squeezy. I just apply it everywhere I need to. And literally, that's it. This is really bugging me that I have that on my face. So then, after that, another thing I've been really loving lately, which is everything I've been loving, that's what I'm using it. Honestly, I was all about the Chanel bronzer for a very long time. I've had it for years. This, the Nude Stick Nudies in, uh, what is this? Bondi Bay is literally a dupe, but even darker. It's actually really good for months where you're not very dark, or when you are very dark, and my Chanel one is for times where you're not very dark. And I just, like that. And yes, I took off the brush because it's stupid. I didn't even waste my time. Then I use a brush. I always love these e.l.f. ones. I have two of them. And I just very quickly just do that. But for some reason, this foundation doesn't like when I rub things. But we're going to make it work today because this is what I do every day. And for some reason, I don't know why, this doesn't like me today. It's weird. So we're going to stipple it in very quickly. And then I always do my jawline because as I've gotten older, I have a double chin. I hate it. It's like literally my biggest pet peeve about myself. I'm one of them. I have many. This is really driving me nuts, but what can I do? So then after I'm done with that, I've been doing this new thing where I finish my whole face and then I do my powder, my under eye. I don't know why. So then I've been really loving... Um, I've been using my Hourglass um, highlighter. I just like a very simple look. I'm not a girl that likes a lot of highlighter everywhere. It kind of like drives me nuts. So what I do, not that. It's my first time today. So then what I do is I just massage it in with this freaking brush. Do that, do that, do that, do that. And that. And that's it. Then I always switch up my bronzers because I have 100. I've been just using my hourglass one. I use it all the time. Who am I kidding? I just go like that. Sometimes I do the threes. I do this. Always go down my neck because you always want to be bronzed. And then what I'll do is I'll go in with a blush. Today, I feel like using this one. It's like literally my favorite. The Milani uh, Rose Doro, Rose Dioro. I don't know what it is, but it's like a rose gold. It's literally the prettiest thing ever. And yeah, I do apply too much blush, but it's okay. We're gonna make it work. And then afterwards, I go on my under eyes. So obviously, I'm like every other basic chick. Um, I like to just go in my Charlotte Tilbury under eye, or I think it's just Airbus. Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. Yeah, well, it gets everywhere. So just remember that. And it goes by fast. Like, I haven't had this that long. It's been like maybe two months. No, it's gotta be long, like probably six. <laughs> but anyways, I just go under there. I'm always loving to define my cheekbone. And that's all I do for my face. Now once I'm done, I literally take this um, Morphe Luminous Setting Spray and I just spritz my face. I like doing this before my mascara because of the fact that when I do it under my eyes, I owe it like, see I won't do it today, which is funny. 
when I spray this, I literally sneeze when I have my mascara on. It gets all over my face. It's not cute. So for my everyday eyes, I'm not going to lie to you. I do not do wing. I do not do anything like that. I literally will always do a pencil liner. It's just who I am. And I'll smut it out. So in this box of goodies, I do love this eyeliner though. It's by Charlotte Tilbury. I don't even have a black one. I have other black ones, but this one, it's like the super brown eyeliner by Charlotte Tilbury. Literally amazing. So what I do is I take any eyeliner. I have a lot, but this one I've been really loving. I got it in a size. It's actually really nice. It's the Nude Sticks Magnetic, Magnetic Luminous Eye Color in Rustic Grotto. Amazing. I don't even smudge this. Sometimes I just go like this. And I just do that. I don't do anything perfect, anything nice. I just do that. I take a little smudgy brush, go right into my bronzer. Because what the heck? This is my everyday look. And I literally just smudge, smudge it out. I like it to be messy because really it doesn't matter because once you have mascara on and some color in your crease, it doesn't matter. And then I normally take it right under my eyes like that, just whatever I have left. And then I go in with a brush and I just lay something down in my crease, which is also using my uh hourglass bronzer i'm using a lot of hourglass it's weird i never thought i liked it that much clearly i have a thing for it and basically i just lay it in here lickety split i used to spend a lot of time blending whatever so now i'm using my mascara um i like the it cosmetics lash blowout or I use my um, Lancome Mancita Big Mascara, but today I'm gonna just use this. <coughs> and I just, I don't even curl my lashes. Like I've gotten so lazy with makeup, but really less is more. I just apply. Sometimes I apply a lot, sometimes I apply a little. It just depends on what I'm doing. But I can tell you right now, I used to do a bunch of shit with my makeup. And now I don't even do that. Because it's not that big of a deal. It's just me and me. So I recently just bought this. It's actually really nice. It's a Patrita for brows. So it's kind of a pain to open. So it's just a clear brow gel. I've been doing this, but I just tinted my brows myself instead of going somewhere. Easiest thing in the world. Um, and then I just literally use a spoolie. First, you don't do that. You need to spray it first. The lady at Sephora, yes, I asked her, even though I'm an esthetician and uh, I really don't care what Sephora people say because, I don't know, I just kind of do it myself and I've been working for makeup companies for a long time. Yeah, you didn't know that, but that's the truth. And yeah, you would look at me and be like, she doesn't know jack shit and look at how she's doing her makeup. That's true. But I've also just become lazy. I'm just not into things like I used to be. And then I just do that with the with the like silver part. And you got bushy brows. That's how it is. So then I either use, I have like four of these different colors because I don't know why. I bought this blonde one thinking that because I just dyed my hair blonder. No, doesn't work. Doesn't even show up. So I've been using my soft brown um just my normal brow is and then i just fill it in i will say one thing i have gotten better about filling in my brows 
like I'm really quick with it, but I also feel like I'm always missing hair in the front. And basically I just do that. I'm not doing it very well because it's hard to do it on camera. Um, especially when I'm not like right in the mirror because I'm like really blind for some freaking reason. God made me that way. So then I literally do that. I take whatever kind of brow gel situation and I kind of make them a little fluffy even though my brows don't really match but whatever. And then um, I just take a makeup wipe or even a cotton round and just wet it. And then that's how I do it. And then for some reason, I feel like I want to add a little bit more blush for color. So I'm going to go into my body brown blush and just apply some. And then what I'll do is I've honestly gotten so used to applying just lip gloss and going places. So this is what I do. This one's really nice. It smells like, it kind of reminds me of like high school days. It smells almost Barbie-like. It is the Nabla Shine Theory Lip Gloss. This is what happens when you watch YouTube. Um, it's Champagne Supernova. It's really pretty. But I will show you what I do when I don't do lip gloss. Because, you know, every girl likes a lip. So, what I'll do. I have my Charlotte Tilbury lip I think they're in my purse, but what I'll do is I'll just use this one because this one's like my go-to. It's stripped down by MAC. And what I'll do, I'll just apply that like so. And then, honestly, the, what is this? RMS Magic Hour Lipstick is like so pretty. Kind of nudes it out, but when you put lip gloss on it, so this is it, the RMS, RMS Magic Hour. It looks better when you're, I don't know. I mean, it looks fine regardless. You know how people are. They're like, eh. So then I use my Fenty Beauty lip gloss. If it's too nude, which it is right now, then I will go in with or substitute it as the KKW or the it's Kylie, I guess it's KK and Diva, which has a little bit more color to it. And I'll basically just apply it over. And it's just like a pretty pink lip. And that's it. And then I'll put some earrings on because I always change my earrings. And today I think I'm gonna change it to, I love these earrings. I've been loving Uncommon Jeans lately. I don't know why, but I have. And I have a few earrings that I love. And these ones are so classic. They're the, um, I don't even know the name of them, but they're really nice. But my friend bought them and then I'm like, where'd you get them? It's like, I'm coming jeans. I'm like, oh, okay. So then I bought like a hundred things because you know me. So that's how it is. I will look up the name and tell you because if you guys are interested in them, they're really nice. They're literally little gold hoops that have like, chained so 
That's basically what I do from every day.